Recently, I came across a situation whereby I'm dealing with calls and call duration. My call durations are in seconds, but I would like to convert them into something more meaningful, something like this, where it is formatted so you can see the hours, minutes, and seconds, or just minutes and seconds like this, so it's in shorter format, which is suitable for shorter call durations. Someone in my workplace resorted to converting duration value into text. And I said, no, that's not good. Because when you convert your value into text, you can't perform calculation. You can compare the values, you can add them, average them, or multiply them. I started playing around with Power BI and came to realization that measure formatting option in Power BI is truly limited. But in the process, I did some research, explored several options, and found a solution which I'm excited to share with you today. The various options that I have explored are firstly, table and field column formatting, secondly, measure formatting, including dynamic formatting options, and thirdly, formatting using DEX. Let me show you one by one. All right. Let's get started by looking at our data model. At the moment, it's really simple, just a single table with two fields, call duration and call type. Now, let's look at the table together. In call type, we have inbound and outbound calls, and then we have call duration in seconds. What can I do to reformat these columns? Now, there are some options in Power BI. You can go up here in the column tools, and there are some formatting options, but they are a bit limited. There isn't anything that can format this into hours, minutes, and seconds. There are options where you can change the data type. You can change this into time, for example. And once you have changed it into time, then in these formatting options, there are options to select hours, minutes, and seconds. However, look at this. It looks wrong because hours, minutes, and second translation is not what we want. So I will convert it back into whole number. Click yes. In here, we have one to one seconds. One to one second is not supposed to be 12, zero, 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 zero. It should be just two minutes and one second. That's why the previous conversion was wrong. So what's our other option? Next, let's explore creating a measure. I have created a measure called test duration, which is the sum of the table call duration in seconds from earlier. Now, I'm going to drag this measure into these visuals down here so you can see. At the moment, the format is exactly the same as the original format of the columns because we haven't done anything. Now, there are some options in here when you click the measure, there is options to reformat them, um, similar to the column formatting earlier. But again, there is no options to format time. So it's a little bit limited. But there is down here, dynamic options. Now, notice something, when you click dynamic options, it brings a new field in here. And at the moment, the default is zero, but you can add numbers. For example, you can do that. 0.00 means I want two decimal places. And watch this, if you click commit, you've got two decimal places. And you can also add comma. Adding comma means we are asking for comma to be added at the 1000 mark. And watch that. Yeah, so adding that comma there means every 1000, you will see a comma. So it's a way of designing a format in a way that we like it. And what can be useful is you can add the word seconds, for example. So I'm going to just get rid of everything and I'm going to type seconds and then that show up over there. So this is interesting options. It's called dynamic formatting and then just hit commit and then disappear. And if you wonder how do we bring it back, just click the measures yeah, and then go to the top and select format. And then you have the option to modify. For example, I'm going to change that one more time and I'm going to just shorten it to just S, for example. And that becomes seconds. All right, so we've got more option with dynamic formatting, but not quite getting to what we want earlier. Now, let's explore a new method. Let's create a new measure 
called test duration 2 and I'm going to introduce you to a text function called format now we format we need an input which is the value and then after that we can define the desired formatting so in this instance let's use the sum of the call duration and then let's define the format for example we can just do a simple one remember to put it in between inverted commas so for example we can do that yeah and just close the bracket and then I'm just going to show you what does it do. So I'm just going to click and drag over here and look at that. So we format, it is similar to dynamic formatting. Earlier, we can define what we want to see. So for example, like earlier, if we want to see the word seconds, for example, we can type it in between that inverted commas and it will include that in our output so format dex function is quite versatile because it means that you can just display whatever you want to see basically now if we use this in conjunction with time dex we can make it even more powerful so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use time and i'm going to convert these numbers into a time output basically so with time we need an input which is hours i'm going to put zero because i don't have an input for hours for minute i'm going to put zero my inputs are in seconds which is the sum of this field call duration in seconds and let's close that bracket so now my input is a time input and I'm going to format my time so that I can see it in hours, minutes, and minutes is NN, and seconds. This is the syntax, hours, minute, and seconds, and then hit commit and watch that. Voila, how exciting is this? And if you want a shorter format because your duration is not that long, for example, just get rid of the HH like that and voila you get to see the minutes and seconds i hope you find this video useful see you next time